same color clothing can ever go out of style. For a long time, I felt that it was only people who were older than I am, so people in their 60s and 70s that would wear same color clothing. I mean, think about the late Queen Elizabeth. She always used to wear like a nice dress and her hats would match her dress. And so I kind of equated that same color clothing style with people of an older generation. Mono meaning single and chromatic or chrome meaning color. So monochromatic meaning single color outfit. Just take this video as your color theory 101 because I'm going to be talking about different hues which mean color, different shades, different tones, different tints of the same color just to give you an understanding of the ways you can style monochromatic outfits. You never thought same color clothing would be this complicated, did you? Now, when I was reading up about like monochromatic outfits, it said that if you choose a monochromatic style, you're looking for something that is more relaxed, more comforting, more serene, more cool, and you don't want to add a lot of vibrancy to what you're wearing. But I figured out that there's so many ways that monochrome outfits can look fun and lovely. So let's start with this first outfit. I wanted to do something that was samey. So same color, no change in tone or hue or tint, just same color from head to toe. So take a look at this mid-green outfit. So it's a mid-green high-waisted cropped trouser. I'm wearing it with a wrap mid-green top. But then look at when I wear it with mid-green shoes as well. I have to be honest with you, I didn't know that I had these colors in my wardrobe. So it shows you that when there is a particular color you enjoy or you love, it is so easy for you to put a monochromatic outfit together. I don't want to look like the Grinch who stole Christmas. So I'm going to change the shoes and I'm going to wear on these tartan colored heels with this outfit. Take a look. It looks nice, it looks pretty, it looks cool. This is one way you can style your monochromatic outfits. You can see that this outfit has a vibrant tone. So if I wanted to go away from a monochromatic look, I could have paired this up with pink heels, like hot pink or fuchsia pink heels, and it would have looked really nice. But let's stick to the monochrome look and do things that look very similar to the base color and then build on from there. So let's dip our toe in just a little bit deeper. We're going to look at a monochromatic outfit, same hue and tone and shade for both the top and the bottom, but this time there's a difference in the fabric. So the top is a blend of, I think, polyester and satin, while the bottoms are leather shorts. But when you look at them, you can see that they are very similar in the shade of the pale pink. It's almost like a, it's in between pale pink and a, a tinge bit of dusty pink, but more pale pink than anything else. I love this top because of all the frills and the bows and all the drama in between. It just makes the outfit look less boring it makes it look more vibrant more nice even though it's a monochromatic look so if you're doing something that is the same color same tone go for some you know like more flamboyance in the material of the outfit to bring it out just a bit more now i've paired it up with flats and i think it works well you can also wear like low heels and the outfit still goes they are neutral heels they work quite well. One of them is kind of like a blend of white and pale pink. So it works beautifully when I pair it with this outfit. Now let's try something different. This time I want to pair different shades of the same color. So this time we're looking at the tint. Now for this outfit, I am pairing the darker color on the top and the lighter tint at the bottom. Now tints are created by adding white to a color. So you can see that this is a darker tint and this is the same color only it's just lighter. It's almost as if they added some white just to make it lighter and a little bit duller but it's still the same color. Now it's said that darker tones are meant to be dramatic and moody and energetic while lighter tones are meant to be relaxed 
and calming and delicate so when you mix a lighter tint with a darker color it just gives you this mix of energy now for those of us who are curvy and plus size you can see that i'm able to wear this lighter color of mint green at the bottom because it is freer it's wide leg and it's not tight on my body so the outfit is going to sit beautifully because it's not tight at the bottom even though it's a lighter shade at that part now i've complemented this outfit with a multicolored shoe it's got yellow it's got pale pink it's got white it's got green different shades of green it's actually even got indigo in it so it works beautifully with this outfit bear in mind that monochromatic outfits actually go well with white or black this is because if you look at the color wheel the monochromatic color wheel you'll see that all the the darker shades are at the outer part of the wheel and as it goes closer to the middle of the wheel the colors get lighter and lighter and lighter and right in the center you have white and when you're going out of the color wheel it gets darker and darker and darker until you get black at the outside of the color wheel so this means that you can wear white or black when you're wearing a monochromatic outfit and it would still work depending on the shade and the tone of the outfit now because this flat the base color is white which is a neutral even though it's multicolored it still works beautifully with this outfit i decided to add like a split complementary look so split complementary on the color wheel is when rather than being directly opposite a color on the color wheel it is kind of like it splits so it's it's complementary but it's not directly opposite on the color wheel and so purple is split complementary with this particular green i'm not sure it's it's either mint green or pistachio green i'm not sure i have to confirm and i'll put it somewhere on the video just so you know what actual color it is but you can see that the contrast works beautifully to just make add some vibrancy now let's try something opposite so we're going to have lighter on the top and darker on the bottom now this is it's sort of coral pink you can see i'm a pink lover <laughs> Pink is just my color. So this is more or less coral pink. The top is like pale pink, but it has a tinge of the corally pink and works beautifully with this darker coral pink on the bottom. So there are different shades and the tint at the top is lighter, but these two shades complement each other beautifully with this outfit. Now the top is curl neck with this high-waisted trouser and I've tucked it in halfway so that it blends nicely and the flats as well are neutral flats and it flows. It is monochrome, it is different shades but it is working great. Psst. Hey, have you pressed the like button? Press the like, 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 yes, yes, like. Now this next outfit, we're going to be pairing tones from the same color family that complements each other. Take a look at this skirt. Now, when I was buying this skirt, I actually thought that it was cobalt blue. And then when it arrived, I was like, okay, this is navy blue. Then I decided to pair it with a navy top and it wasn't going at all. I tried it with a cobalt blue top. It wasn't working at all. I tried it with different shades of blue and it didn't quite work. I decided to do something different here so i found another blue top in my wardrobe and i thought to try it with this skirt because i struggled as i said to find what would work with it little did i know that i also have somewhat of an indigo pair of heels and so when i wore it with this skirt it actually works with this outfit it looks nice so you still get that look of that lighter on the top darker on the bottom even though they're different shades i also decided to wear it with the white and blue heels and it works nicely so if you don't want it to be you know fully monochromatic you can just blend it with a bit of the neutral in the white and the blue and this outfit works good i just have to throw in this outfit into this video it is not the exact same shade of orange it's sort of like a different shade it's not a lighter shade it's just so somewhat different um in terms of the colors but i try to do a monochromatic outfit with this just to see what it looks like it's not that bad the earrings are a mix of orange white and teal i didn't quite have the right color of teal for the shoes so i wore some green flats i have that 
can somewhat pass for a bit of teal just to contrast this monochromatic look it's not the best but it still works you have so much in your wardrobe that can make some really nice monochromatic outfits that you've probably never thought about here's another way you can wear monochromatic outfits and that is by using prints now this top i love it so much it is a dusty pink multicolored top you can see that the base color is dusty pink even though the tone is a lighter tone it's kind of like a blend of dusty pink beige and another shade of pink like i don't know what shade it is but it is a multicolor top but you can see that the base color is matching the trouser that i've paired it with because it is a print and because the base color is dominant even though it's multicolored it still gives you that monochromatic look without making it look like you're wearing so many different colors so this is another beautiful way that you can wear monochromatic colors so if you've got multicolored tops that have like a strong base color they can work beautifully when you pair them with an outfit with that same base color and you will still have a monochromatic look that works in 2023 so for example the first outfit i wore a tartan is a form of a print you can pair it up that way your earrings that have different colors combined in them you can wear them to kind of tone down the monochromatic look but still have that one color look that you want to go for so this is another way you can wear monochromatic outfits and it will look beautifully so think of all your checks your prints your different types of colors tartans anything you can think of ankara outfits here's a fun exercise for you i want you to go into your wardrobe have a look at your wardrobe pick out all the colors in your wardrobe that look the same or look like similar colors right lay them out on the bed and start combining different outfits together I'm sure you're going to get some really lovely monochromatic outfits from what you already have in your wardrobe. And you're going to notice how much of a particular color you have in your wardrobe. It could be that that is your favorite color without you realizing, or it might be that that's a color that suits your skin tone beautifully. And if monochromatic looks are not for you and you want to add a bit of color to your outfit, then go watch this video next.